Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about introduction to ballistics and the basic parts of a firearm, which will be including action, barrel, stock, muzzle, trigger, magazine and extractor. So before starting the video guys, I would like to really request you all to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And also if you find this video to be useful, then please share it with your friends. So now let's get started. First definition for introduction to ballistic, we need to know what is ballistic. So ballistic is the science of the motion of projectile in flight. So um, projectile is any object that is thrown into the air that is projected into the air. In case of ballistics, a projectile can be a bullet or it can be a pallet. So in ballistic, we study the motion of projectile which starts right from the launching of projectile to it, the behavior in flight that is when it is in the air, when it is in motion and its impact. So we study all these things in the ballistic field. All right. Then comes the term forensic ballistics. So it, in forensic ballistic, what we do is we examine the evidence. So it is in this, the examination of evidence that is related to the firearms at crime scene is done, including the effects and behavior of projectile and explosive devices. So we study the, fire, the evidences that are found at the crime scene in forensic ballistic, we examine those evidences. Now, what can those evidences be? Those evidences can be bullet found from the crime scene. They can be bullet fragrant, uh, fragments also. Then there can be gunshot residues also it can act as an evidence. In bullets, we will be studying about the, the different marks or the tool marks that are formed on the bullet due to rifling um, or what kind of bullet it is what uh, possible weapon can it belong to so in forensic ballistic we're going to study all these things then comes the subdivision of ballistics so ballistics is mainly divided into four areas which is, which includes internal ballistic external ballistic terminal ballistic and wound ballistics so if you talk about internal ballistic then internal ballistic is a study of projectile in the gun so when the projectile is in the gun and if we study that portion then that is comes under internal ballistic right from the trigger pull till the bullet reaches this muzzle end of the firearm right from starting to here to here from here to here we uh, study that under internal ballistics then comes external ballistic that is a study of projectile in air when the bullet um, it reach it leaves the muzzle end and it is in the air so uh, the study of that part is called external ballistics then comes terminal ballistics it is the study of interaction of projectile when it hits the target so let's say this is the target so when the projectile is hitting this target then um, that uh, study is known as terminal ballistic and then comes wound ballistic in which we study the motion of motion and effects of projectile with the tissue when it hits the tissue bodily tissue of human beings or any other animal then wound is caused and the study of that is called wound ballistics then comes the basic parts of firearm there are seven basic parts of firearm first is action barrel stock extractor magazine muzzle trigger and trigger pull so i'll be discussing all this in the next slide so the first part is action action is like the heart of firearm it is the moving portion of the firearm that is going to load and fire the ammunition and it ejects the shells or cartridges so here you can see this portion is the action of this particular firearm here you are going to load the ammunition the cartridge 
and then it's going to come back right to this position and then it will be fired the ammunition will be fired so action is the heart of the firearm it is the moving portion that is going to help us load the um, ammunition over here and it is going to eject the shells or the cartridges now several types of actions are used in the modern firearm for example um, there is bolt action then there is lever action then there is pump action then there is breakthrough action this example is um, this particular example is of breakthrough action so there are different types of actions and I will be discussing all these actions in my video that I'll be making on the firing mechanism. So in that video, I'll be discussing about the different types of actions that are used for uh, in uh, for firing mechanism in um, automatic firearm also and also in the uh, manual loading firearms. Then comes the stock. The stock is a part of the firearm that is held by the shooter. So here you can see this is a portion that will be held by the shooter. So this is stock. The stock also serves as a platform for supporting the action and the barrel. So stock also supports the action and barrel. Stock is also known as butt or grip. All right. Another name for stock is butt and grip then third part is barrel barrel is the metal tube that the projectile travels through as a result of pressure from burning gunpowder so the long portion that you see in all the um, firearms the longest portion is that is the uh, barrel all right so the bullet will travel through this barrel as a result of the pressure that has been made due to the burning of gunpowder that this portion also i'll be discussing in my next video just for now you need to know that the barrel is the longest portion through which the projectile the bullet or the pellets they move forward the barrel also guides the projectile in intended motion so wherever you position your barrel uh, wherever di whichever direction you position that in that is going to um, guide the projectile to move in that particular direction also one thing i forgot to tell in action is that the muzzle there are two types of loaders there is muzzle loading guns and there is breech loading guns so in muzzle loading guns um, the loading is done from this part all right loading as in the cartridge is added from this part so in muzzle loading guns they don't have any action instead of that they have locks now these locks can also be of different types for example wheel lock spint lock etc that also i'll be discussing later on but right now just uh, know that um, muzzle loading that is the one that loads from the muzzle muzzle is this portion this area is called muzzle so if it is loading from there there that is called muzzle loader and they do not have actions they have lock and this one is breech loading that is loading from the breech area so this portion they have action and different types of action as i have said that i'll be discussing next then next comes trigger this portion as you can see here this is the trigger area of the bullet you pull this trigger this is like just a small lever that is squeezed or pulled to start the firing process once you pull this over here then it's going to lead to the start of the firing process the entire firing process over here is going to start then there is trigger guard in order to protect this portion this portion as you can see this is a trigger guard it guards the trigger this trigger is guarded so that there is no accidental trigger pull in order to protect the trigger uh, the firearm from firing accidentally trigger guard is there all right trigger guard done trigger done then next comes muzzle the end of the barrel through which the projectile is going to exit so as i told in the last slide the end portion of the bullet is known as the muzzle end 
and this portion over here is the breech end so muzzle end is this portion the end of the barrel through which the projectile exits so this is the last portion of the firearm to which the bullet is going to be in contact with so next comes the extractor extractor is the part of the gun's action that removes the metal cases fired of fired ammunition now ammunitions as you know are enclosed in a metal case in order to keep all the things inside that is um, the projectile the propellant the primer all these things are kept intact in a ammunition which is having which is having a metal case so this also uh, once the bullet has been fired once the projectile has been released then what happens is that the metal case is left behind in the gun so that needs to be removed in order to put the next ammunition so extractor is the portion that helps in the removal of the ammunition the left metal case of the ammunition here you in the picture you can see that this portion is the extract portion then comes the magazine it is a container on a repeating firearm that holds ammunition before it's loaded into the chamber so here you can see in this picture this particular thing is the ammunition this is a pistol and um, so this portion over here is the magazine which is containing the ammunition inside of it so this is loaded into the gun and um, after that it is fired so this was all about this video i hope that you understood what ballistics is and uh, what are the different parts of a firearm if you found the video to be useful then please like share and subscribe to my channel